has sneakerheads? How did it come about? I know it's like a brand new thing in this world. And so it's kind of cool to see it front and center as it relates to on Netflix. Thank you for releasing it at this time. I think I've run out of things to watch on Netflix. And so how was it making the show? When did you guys wrap? So we, we this process began maybe almost two years ago, it feels like. Yeah. Where any one of the producers and creators of the show uh, reached out to me and he wanted me to actually be a part of the writing staff for this series. Hmm. And I wasn't able to do it because I was already on the writing staff for The Last OG and it was running at the same time. So schedules just didn't work. Then he reached out again and, you know, wanted me to play the role of Devin for the show. So, you know, the developing process of that, I wanted to, I handpicked who I wanted to be Bobby, in which I thought Batch was the, the perfect guy for. So I reached out and he, you know, he did me a favor to do the show. Along with that favor, I had to do stand up for a week as a part of my deal. Like stand up comedy? Stand up comedy. I did stand up for comedy for a week. Cause me and Batch are friends, like me and Batch are friends. So <laughs> okay. he was like, if I do your show, all right, as a part of the deal, you gotta do stand up. I said, all right, that's the deal, <laughs> that's the deal. So wow. I guess what I'm saying is that it's been a process of love and family, you know what I'm saying? And having Batch come aboard and just growing that family with Matt and Jernest and Yanni and, and all the different casts that are on the show. This has been a process from going this, from this small show that Complex was producing and its highest hopes probably being on like a digital platform, not mm. the likes of Netflix, to where it is now is incredible. And uh, it's, been a, it's been a dope process seeing it all develop and seeing how the sneaker culture and just the world of them has embraced this story. And you guys shot a lot of that here in LA, right? Like right on Fairfax, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. shot we shot most of that in LA. Then we we took uh we went to we took a trip to Hong Kong, man. That's awesome. I saw that. So there's a part, I won't give it away, but there's a part of the series where you guys are uh, basically, you find like a treasure map and you're on a hunt and it lands you in Hong Kong and then a lot of interesting things develop. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.